we're being asked to find the domain of this function. So this is a square root function because whenever there's no number here, there's really an invisible two. And so this is called the index. And if the index is even and you're looking for the domain, all you have to do is take this piece here and set it greater than or equal to zero. So again, if you're looking for the domain and you have an even index, this is step one every time, always work. If this is odd, then you're done. The answer is all real numbers. So like if it was a six here instead of a two, this is still the same step. As long as this number is even, um, this will work. So now we just have to solve for x. So let's subtract 18, so minus 18, minus 18. So we have 9x greater than or equal to negative 18. And I guess now um, x is being multiplied by 9, so we'll divide by 9. So that gives us uh, x greater than or equal to negative 2. And if you like, you can graph the solution set. So this is negative 2, and it's all the numbers bigger than negative 2. So it's all the numbers over here. And this has an equal to part. That means we're going to include the negative 2. So we're going to use a bracket because bracket means include. And the bracket always opens towards the shading, so it's going to look like that. And that's the answer. You can just write it down now from the picture. It would be bracket negative 2 comma infinity and then a parenthesis. And this would be the domain of the function.